I'm going to take you through the Upride site because I think it's a pretty useful site for looking at where crash is occurring in your area. Now, this is a free site. It's been put together and it's hosted by the people that uh, uh, developed the cyclic cameras, the, the Fly 12 and uh, the other rear-facing one. Um, so not giving a plug for their cameras or anything like that, but uh, I will say I've owned several of them. Uh, both the front ones, well I've owned one front one and, and three rear ones now I think and uh, I think they're pretty top notch um, I've also used a GoPro and some other thing I got at Aldi years ago and uh, you know for safety recording I think they're much superior to the GoPro, I don't think the image is quite as good as what you get with a GoPro and obviously they're not as flexible as a GoPro, I mean they're bike specific you can't take them off and go I don't know, windsurfing or skiing or, or whatever the hell you do scuba diving with them um, but certainly very good as a bicycle safety thing. Um, now it's, like I said, it's free to uh, register and sign up to upload your video. And what they're looking at here, obviously, is all the different types of incidents that cyclists uh, run into from time to time. You know, crashes, close calls, close passes is obviously, uh, you know, one I'm very interested in because I've had too many of the flipping things. Never had to report a bad road or path, but I have in fact reported quite a bit of stuff in here. Now this is a global site, I'll just scroll out a bit and if you scroll right out you can see the globe um, and yeah there's stuff uploaded from just all over the place but it, you know you can type stuff in here for instance and um, you know uh, see what's there but let's go and have a look over here in 5doc and see uh, where the risky places are, or where there's lots of close calls, etc. Um, and you can see there's a whole bunch from up Ingham Avenue, for instance. Now, if you hover over any of them, it'll give you a quick view as to uh, you know what it's all about. Um, and if you actually click on it, you've got to actually click on the that pink thing. Um, if you then click on the video, it will load the video, and you can see you know what the heck happened. I'm just going to turn that volume down because it's a bit annoying. Um, and what they're after is short clips, um, you know, that show uh, just what happened before the incident and the incident itself and a little bit after. You know, they don't want war and peace. Uh, you know, it's got to be pretty snazzy. So um, you can, you know, have a look at uh, you know, all these things. So um, let's... Let's see if we have another look at another one here. Um, so once you're registered, you know, you can upload it. Now what happens is they do um, moderate all the clips. Um, so it might be a day before your clips appear once they've um, uh, been uploaded. Some get rejected because they're, they're not interesting enough or they don't really show a close pass or, you know, whatever. Um, and they just want the pure clip. They don't want any voiceover stuff or, you know, arrows pointing to things or anything like that. It's just, show us the video. Um, now, that said, the, the usefulness of this, of course, is when you're looking at safety issues, you can go to this site and say, oh, I think there's an issue on Ingham Avenue with, you know, close passes. And, well, oh, hey, presto, yes, there is. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, let's just zoom out a little bit and see where else we're seeing them. Oh, look, there's a whole cluster of them over on Hawthorne Parade. What have we got? Close pass. Uh, oh, going the wrong way around a traffic island. Okay, that's always amusing. Let's have a look at this one. How long's this clip? 20 seconds or so. Okay, here's our driver overtaking and... Well, giving lots of room by the look of it, except, oh, there's a traffic island. And <laughs> what's it look like from the front? Oh, yes, that's always a clever maneuver. Um, where else have we got lots of close passes? Uh, Lilyfield Road. Well, like, well, not close passes necessarily, but what have we got? Um, oh, a driver comes out of a side street, turns without indicating, etc. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of close passes up Lilyfield Road. What am I getting at here? Uh, well, if you've got a camera of some sort, whether it's a GoPro or a Cyclic, whether it's front or rear, doesn't matter. Um, if something happens out on the road, um, register here and upload it because uh, it just builds a nice database of, uh, of all these incidents. 
And look, if I go in here and have a look at one of these, um, if we actually, let me just see if I can, if I click on link, yeah, okay. So then we get all, we get some more details of it. So what's the actual location of it? What's the date it occurred? What's the incident type? Um, uh, we don't get anything else here. Uh, certainly look, when, when you actually upload the clips, you get to upload things like uh, the registration of the vehicle and other bits and pieces, and usually a bit more of a, uh, you know, blurb about what happened. But um, yeah, I mean, this, this is the kind of thing uh, I think councils should be using this type of data along with, um, you know, Strava uh, heat map data when they're looking at things uh, where they, we also know, for instance, that the police don't record all crash data. We've had a couple here in Five Dock recently where, um, well, in fact, one in particular, the police turned up at an incident, the ambulance turned up because the rider was not carted away in an ambulance because they left under their own power. Um, the police never logged an incident, although they'd been knocked down and, and were injured enough to, uh, you know, take a month to recover. But, you know, no broken bones or, you know, bleeding or stitches or anything, but you know what it's like if you've ever been knocked out. It, it hurts a lot and it can really knock the stuffing out of you. Um, so this can also fill in those gaps where, uh, you know, the, the police haven't recorded an incident, but there's plenty out there that, uh, you know, are not made it onto the books. Anyway, to just recap a second time, um, you know, if you've got video, even if you've got a library of video going, you know, it's a couple of years old, don't worry, you can still upload it now. It doesn't matter if it happened two years ago. The important thing is to capture the incidents and to geocode them so that they're available to everyone. So if you've got a library, uh, get to it, get uploading. Thanks for watching.